Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a pack with me video. Today I'm going to be packing my cabin bag and my backpack that I take on the flight with me. So I've just finished a job in Germany and I just thought I'd quickly show you everything that I put into my cabin bag and my backpack that comes with me on the aeroplane. So if you're interested to see that, um, keep watching, obviously. <laughs> but before we get going, if you're new here, do click subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this pack the cabin bag and the backpack video, do give this video a little thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you take on the aeroplane with you. So this has been a trip, I've been away for five days. So I've got my big suitcase with all my clothes and larger products in, but this is the cabin bag that I take on the plane. It's a four wheeler soft case from It Luggage, which you can pick up in Primark for 30 pounds. It has a pocket on the front here and inside it's got a zip pocket here and then yeah, just a compartment that's quite big and spacey, which is why I really like it. So because I've been on a shoot, I've actually already got some things in my suitcase. I've got basically all the media from the shoot, which is very important, hence why that comes on the aeroplane with me. Next, I'm going to put in a few more bits um, of work stuff. So I've got a folder here full of forms and things that needs to, again, stay with me because it's important documents. I've also already got in here an adapter plug, which I picked up in Poundland, and I've got my little phone tripod thingamajig called a jobby. It's a good one, it grips onto anything. So that's in there in case I do any vlogging, and I've got a brolly, which I always keep in my carry-on suitcase because you never know when you get back to the UK or whenever you arrive at your destination if it's going to be raining. So the next thing I'm going to put in is my expenses receipt. So they're something that I often go through at the airport while I've got a bit of time on my hands. So I try and make the most of that time by going through all of my expenses. I also always pack my sunglasses and my glasses. These I will put into my backpack. I just think they're a little bit safer in there. So this is my backpack. It's a coach bag. I will link a blog post from when I first bought this. It's been going since 2017 and someone asked me recently if I still use this and the answer to that is yes, I use it pretty much every single day. Unless I'm using the Reese one that you may have seen that I picked up from a charity shop. The next thing that I put in is a cap. I find this really helpful on the flight just to pop on if you kind of want to get some sleep. It can shade your eyes and or if you're having a bad hair day, either one. Maybe like sometimes I'll go back to the hotel and maybe go to like the steam room or the sauna at the hotel before I actually go to the airport. So then if I can't be bothered to like sort my hair out after that. Got a cap just in case I want to put that on. I also take with me in my backpack my planner. You may have seen this one that I picked up. It's by a brand called Fringe and I got this from TK Maxx, they also do them in home sense. I think they're 9 99 and they've just got a really good layout in there. And this one will take me all the way through to 2020, December. So it started in August and it's like a year and a half one. So I thought that was quite good value. I like my snacks. I take almonds with me everywhere. So those go into, let's put those into the cabin bag. My passport, which is obviously the essential item when you're traveling, just lives in this Primark little passport holder. I've got this clear bag with any small products that I like to take with me on the flight. And I just have a little rant about boots. These, they're charging 3 dollars for at the airport, which I think is outrageous. How can they charge that? It's 60 mil for a tiny bit of contact solution, but that's the only option I can find. So yeah, if you, if you know any um, cheaper ways that you can get travel sized contact solution, I would love to stock up on some bottles because it pains me to pay that. And I've just got some miniature sized um, fragrance. I've got some earplugs in there, which is always handy to take on the aeroplane. Chewing gum painkillers, that sort of thing. This bag came as part of a three set from Boots. They're clear, so you can actually use this to get through security. I never get stopped with that and it stops you having to use those annoying little plastic bags that they give you. So that goes into my backpack. I've got my house keys as well. The reason I've got all this stuff out is because a lot of this stuff's been in the hotel safe in case you're thinking, why has he got all this stuff out of the bags to put back in the bags? Um, that's why. I like to have some snacks with me and these protein bars 
are really good. I just picked these up while I was here. And this is a protein coffee that I picked up in that shop called One Below. That's a bit like Poundland, only cheaper. These are 59p and they're little coffee protein shakes with 23 grams. So if I get hungry, oh, can I take that through? It's 250 mils, so that can't come through. So I will be drinking that before I go through or I'll put it in my main suitcase. In fact, I'm gonna put that to one side. I'll take an apple though, just in case I want a little snack. And then next thing will be my vlog camera, which you are watching me on. So that will go into this pouch. I just use a little wash bag at the moment to keep my camera in because I don't have a camera case. So that's what that lives in. Then I've got another book here. This is another planner, but this one is actually planning all of my festive content. So I've got, got like a separate notebook going on for all of that. So I'm gonna keep that handy because often when I'm on the aeroplane, that's when I will be thinking up creative ideas and want to jot them down. And then I've got my folder here, which was from the shoot again with lots of notes on. So I'll be typing up notes from my folder. So that will be going into the cabin bag so I can make the most of the time at the airport. And then my laptop, I've got, whoops, I've got my laptop which is a MacBook and I keep it in this delightful orange <laughs> laptop case. I really want to get a nicer one but for now the main thing is that it just doesn't get damaged. So that's padded kind of like wetsuit material so that lives in the cabin bag and it keeps it kind of protected while it's in there. I've got this metal water bottle that I like to use. It's just a good sturdy one, it doesn't leak, and I can fill that up with water before boarding the plane. Loads of airports now will have water fountains where you can fill up your bottles, that so just saves you the expense, and obviously it's better for the environment. I'll also be packing into my backpack my travel mug. This is the one that you may have seen. It was a gift from Kate McCabe here on YouTube, and it says blah, blah, blah. These you can buy in Poundland. I think these are two pounds, naughty Poundland, but they're good. Um, quality ones, they're nice and sturdy. So I'll be able to make a little coffee in that. And then what I do is take, all my plugs. <laughs> so what I do is I take an adapter plug from the UK, or a triple plug I should say, not an adapter, like an extension lead. These are great for hotel rooms, which I've told you before I think, um, just because you can plug in the one adapter and then you get four plugs. So if you've got lots of kit with you, you can charge, and then I can be generous at the airport if I'm hogging a plug. I can say, well, you can have one of my spare ones if you would like to charge your phone as well. Although I did do that, I've told you this story before, I think, as well. I was with Dainty Diaries in a pub, and I lent my adapter to a tourist, and there was a loud bang, and then it didn't work after that, and we both thought we were gonna get electrocuted, so, yeah. Maybe I won't lend it out again, but I've got three plugs anyway. <laughs> um, so that goes in there. And then I keep my phone charger with me in my backpack. And I also keep a battery charger. Where are you? Here you go. I keep one of these, which is the battery charger thing for your phone. So I keep that in another pouch. I like my pouches. This was a pouch that some boxer shorts came in. I just like things to stay with the cables that they came with. And then I put my cable for my laptop into the cabin bag as well. I've got some Barocca, because I like to take these when I'm traveling, just to keep me, um, what's the word, fit and healthy, <laughs> I don't know, just to get the vitamins into me is what I'm trying to say. And then I've got my battery and charger, spare battery for my vlogging camera, which you're watching me on. And if you do ever want to do any YouTube filming, I do recommend getting a spare battery. <laughs> that is always a bit of a lifesaver. And that, I think, is pretty much it. The rest is gonna go into my main bag. Maybe I've missed something, I'm not sure. This is the coat that I'm going to be wearing to the airport. I've shown you this recently, and it's really a winning jacket for me. I'm really enjoying this at this time of year. I think the colours are really nice. I think the fit's lovely. And it's just nice for the airport where you don't want to have something too bulky on. So you're feeling like all hot and claustrophobic when you get on the plane, you can just slip it off <laughs> and then pop it into the overhead. So yeah, that was a very quick little insight into what goes into my cabin bag when I'm traveling. This is probably more of a kind of worky cabin bag. So maybe if I do like a weekend break where I just have the cabin bag, 
with everything in it, I'll show you that as well because that might be interesting, probably more interesting for you so you can see how I can pack clothes, toiletries, everything into this size suitcase, which has been known. I think I've been away for probably two or three days with everything in there, including a couple of outfits. So maybe if that's of interest to you, I can do that as a future video. But this was just a naughty shorty today. I just thought before I check out, I should have checked out five minutes ago. I'm very sorry, hotel. I'll be out of here in a minute. Um, that I would just share that with you, just in case it's of interest, you never know. So I hope you enjoyed um, that. And yeah, I'll link my backpack blog post from back in the day down below so you can see all about where I got my backpack from. I'll also link the jacket that I've just shown you that was very kindly sent to me from Burton's as well, um, in case you're interested in that, because I know um, a few people said that they really liked the look of this jacket, and someone said it was kind of 60s style, which I hadn't thought of, but I think, yeah, I can see that as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting new videos every week, and do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what your in-flight essentials are. I'd love to hear them and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye. I can't feel my legs. Do, do, click, subs do click subscribe if, oh, do click subscribe if you enjoyed this video. What? So I can't say it now, what's wrong with me? I've got to be out of the hotel room. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed that vid, what, that, this? So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to click subscribe, sub, oh, I can't speak, sub, why can't I say it? Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Subscribe, am I saying it right? Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click subscribe if... If you're new here, don't forget to click... You know when you've said something and it's...